Dangerous. <laughs> Lethal? What? Do you really think that Vanessa has... Leo, the... Leo, don't act like this is a new discovery, please. I'm not. But you're like... You're saying... Look, look. Larry wasn't killed, okay? The coroner said that he died of a massive heart attack. We can't blame our mother for that. Say. Are you telling me what this is really all about? Durant, listen to me. There's something I have to tell you about our mother that you don't know. Okay. She knows about a drug that can induce a heart attack. But come again? Uh, right. You remember when I was in the hospital? I mean, as, as a patient, when I when I messed up my hand hitting that yeah, wall in jail? Yeah, where's this going? Do you remember that or don't yeah, you? Yeah, of course I remember. It was during that, that old libidazone fiasco. Leslie Coles tried to kill you. Ex exactly, you exactly. Now, I was trying to stay out of jail, okay? Vanessa was visiting me one day, and they were about five minutes from transferring me to a state penitentiary. I asked our mother to get a, her hands on a drug for me, and she did. How? It, uh, I gave her a key to the med. What does it matter? How? Don't you get the point here? Is that our mother knows how to induce a heart attack. What? Yes, I, I asked her to put a small dose into my IV. It, it bought me time, okay? It kept me from being transferred. So, so there's, there, there, there's a drug out there that, that can actually induce a heart attack and make people die? As an overdose, absolutely. And listen to me, Leo, this drug, once it's induced, leaves no traceable residue whatsoever. It's perfect for what happened to Larry. Really? That's great. Yeah. That's just great. You know, I'm, I'm just thrilled that our mother has access to a drug that can actually make people die. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I, I, I'm sorry that you told me. I'm sorry that I even came by here, David. Yeah. No, I mean it. I mean it. All this adds up to is lost time for me and Greenland. I'm not going to let that happen anymore. This is over. All right, so you're saying that all you can care about right now is is what? Is Greenland? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. And I should have said it a hell of a long time ago. All right, fine. If that's true, then you might want to hear what I have to say. About what? About your fiance. Oh, this is beautiful. Really. Does she have an opinion about Greenlee, too? What about Greenlee? What, what? What is this? Oh, you know what this is. You stay the hell out of my life, David. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even believe that I'm trying to be rational with you. What, you, you call this being rational? You live in the woods in some cabin like a mad scientist, for God's sake. And I don't even want to know what this is all about. But once again, it just proves to me that the closer I get to you and your secrets and our mother and hers, the worse my life gets. Why do you always think the worst of me? I was halfway out the door and you tell me I need to know something about Greenland. And you assume it's something bad, Fine. right? What is it? Well, tell me. called here. Greenland called here? Yeah. To tell David that the charges against your mother were dropped. She, she seemed very upset. Right. right. When was this? A little while ago. I... I was just with Greenlee a little while. Yeah, I shouldn't even be here. I should be with Greenlee. I have a year's worth of making up to do to that girl. It's a real nice family you're getting to know, isn't it? I don't scare easily. Yeah, well, neither does Greenlee. This is more than she can even handle. How about you? Is it? Is it what? Is dealing with my family to be with me? Is it too much? Yes, it's true. A smarter woman would have run screaming from this cabin. <laughs> you happen to be the smartest woman I know. Oh, it's OK. You already have me. You can ease up on the flattery. Are you sure I have you, Anna? What are you asking? <sighs> well, you already know that my mother's out of her mind. She may well be, yeah. And believe me, it's not news. I've known it since I was 12. And then she shows up here practically stalking me. And I made a vow to myself, you know, that I wasn't going to get involved. And no matter what happened, that if she wanted to hang herself, let her. She's your mother. Only so much detachment can work, right? So what do I do? About Vanessa? Yeah. What do you want to do? Well, you said yourself that there's only so much detachment you can have with a parent, right? So if she's insane, if, if she's homicidal, if, what do I, I stand by and, and not do anything? Don't I have some kind of responsibility? What, to have her committed? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm asking. 
David, I think you have a bigger problem than that. <laughs> what, than having a sociopath for a mother? Yeah, you could end up in jail. You do know that. <laughs>